So we're at about um, how many? What's the elevation we're at? We're now? at twenty three hundred feet. And we're going to be approaching yep, Harrisburg. Harrisburg. Yep. Okay. Uh, before we uh, really get into it, Lou, if you, you wouldn't mind introducing yourself and okay. Okay. And hi, I'm Lou Thiebelman. I'm a retired airline pilot, and I've lived in this area for oh, pushing forty years. So what are we looking at here? We're looking at a simulation of the Harrisburg area. You might be able to pick out Three Mile Island off there on the left, the Susquehanna River, uh, the Middletown area directly in front of us, and the airport at uh, Harrisburg. I'm slowing the airplane down so we can land. I'm going to put the landing gear down. And I'll put one notch and flap out. We're going to be landing on this runway here. I'm a little high, so I'll be easing the power off. You might be able to pick up Sunset Golf Course right here. Passing Three Mile Island at this point. You can see some of the residential areas, and you can see how it gets pretty thick up here around Middletown. And the river does make this big bend here, which is perfect. We're on the same approach as the plane yes. that landed in the river on Friday, then, correct? We're on the identical approach, right. And, and we're, we're going to be simulating what could have we're happened. We're going to simulate what could have happened. Uh, and again, there wasn't a lot of choices once you get down low. The golf course is not a great choice because the fairways are fairly small and there are probably people out there. And, uh, you know, you have uh, highways, they're not a good choice either. And an airplane like he was flying, that's a fairly sophisticated airplane. So here we are, we're on approach. You can see the, uh, the runway in the distance and you might be able to pick out what they call the VASI or Visual Approach Slope Indicators, the PAPI, Precision Approach Path Indicator. You can see that it's white and red, so I'm on the uh, glide slope, and I'm headed towards the runway, and all of a sudden, the engine quits. And I have, whoa, where am I going to go? Well, I call the tower and tell them we're going to be in the river here. I look, I don't see any other place I can go, really, I can't make that sure. Um, I'm going to ditch in the river, so I want to pick my landing gear up. In this case, I couldn't do that. It's a retractable gear airplane. Let me show you outside. I'll bring the landing gear up. And there's a boat out in the river and what I'm going to do is attempt to make it as soft a landing as I can in this river by bleeding off the airspeed as I come down level the wings easy and boom we made it all right and a lot of this is still under investigation here, but from what we know and from what we've seen so far, what do you think about the actions of the pilot disappearing? Right. Did, did, did great. He walked away. Uh, if you can walk away, that's good. And that airplane doesn't look like it. The pictures I saw look pretty good. It might have some scrapes and stuff, but that's probably a recoverable airplane because it's in fresh water, which doesn't damage as much as salt water. So I think uh, I'd have been proud of that. I'd have been very happy. Now where he landed in the river, there are a lot of houses on the one side. Yeah, there's all houses on the right side or the east side, and there's a big mountain and hill on the other side. There's not a lot of choices, uh, and it was a bad time for that engine to quit. Yeah. And landing in a river, then, that was the uh, good choice thing. Uh, he had no other choice, yeah. yeah. He, he did a great job, too. Walked away. Now, as a pilot, how does that situation feel? Or? Well, I don't know. I've never had to do that. I've had engine failures, but I've always been able to land back on the airport. I was high enough. And in the airline business, we, we don't, because we have multiple engines, that's really not something we practice. Although we did it one time uh, in a 727, we would kill all three engines, be 10,000 feet over the airport to show how you could manage the energy to come around and land the airplane without any power. But that's very, that's almost unheard of. But in a little airplane with one engine, it's more, more of a, a thing that might happen. And when the engine fails, the plane's still able to... You glide, yes. You glide. You keep your airspeed at the, at the proper glide speed. Uh, in this case, you saw that I retracted the landing gear because I wanted to have a smoother belly to, to land on the water. Uh, much like uh, Sully Sullenberger did landing in the Hudson, he had the gear up. He did not put the gear down. And he did a very successful landing. There are some people got off that airline that didn't even get their feet wet. That's how good it was. And that, the fact that there was a boat right there, he saw him go in the river, came over and rescued him. How great is that? So, good job.